Hello, so today I am going to show you the pivot pop-up mechanism that I came up with. Um, I had posted this a while back on my Instagram and I just hadn't had a chance to come um, come up with the video or a tutorial to post in to show you how I did it with the measurements. So this is just the basic mechanism. I took it off the card that I was using it because it was just like kind of like a template, but it's, you know, pop a mechanism once you put it in your card you open it and it opens it's a lot of fun so let's get started now first of all we're going to need a piece of paper that is five and a half by two and then we're going to need a piece of paper that is seven and a half by two and a half so we're going to put this one to the side for now and we're going to do some scoring on this one so first we're going to score at one and three quarters two and three quarters and three and three quarters um, I will have all the measurements on my blog so don't worry about it if you're not um, getting it you can always come back and check them out and we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna score at one inch so there we have um, those four score marks now for this next one we are going to actually use a pencil so that what you can see um, I have the little templates that I came up with and um, this is our basic template um, where you see the orange lines that don't worry about it those are just marks that I did but all of the black lines are where we're going to be scoring and folding so let's get this done I also had created this little template that if it's easier for you to follow, um, again, orange lines is scores, green lines is where we're going to be cutting. So this is the little piece of paper that we have. And um, now we're going to do some markings. So we are going to mark. And so I can see better. Make it easier. I'm just going to mark the corners of each um, crease where, uh, or each uh, score line. And we're going to connect these lines and go through the middle. So you're going to connect each corner. Basically, we're going to come up with a little X uh, mark and connect it all. Once you do that, um, we're also going to create these little flaps. The little flaps, we're going to call them. Um, and those are going to be about three quarters of an inch. So just measure three quarters of an inch um, or a little more or less. I've been making a few of these now so I can pretty much eyeball it and do it. Um, so you're going to do this on opposite sides and it doesn't matter which side you choose. Um, you know, the, the result is going to end up being the same. About three quarters of an inch and same thing, three quarters of an inch in. And just draw a line so that way you can see it. So once we have those, then we're going to mark about an eighth of an inch on each one of these corners of these uh, marks. And again, you can eyeball it. So we're going to mark those and now we're going to connect those lines as well. So with this one, we're going to go to that quarter of an inch mark. And there. And then same over here. Now, once you do this, you could do it in light pencil so you can come back and erase them. Um, it doesn't really matter because uh, you're not going to be seeing this. It's going to be in your design. But for the purposes of this, we're going to go ahead and do it. I'm just marking where those lines are so I can see where the score lines are. And we can put in, connect them. like so and that is our basic shape so again it doesn't take too long once you do this uh, a few times it's pretty plain and simple so now before we do any cutting we are going to be doing some scoring so we're going to score uh, or not scoring I'm sorry we're going to be folding or creasing the scores so we're going to fold this over and press which is basically we're um, folding over at half and then at half again half of your piece of paper and then um, for these lines that you made um, you are going to be 
um, what do you call it, you're going to be uh, scoring them. So I'm going to use this as a template so I can line it up um, right there. So we're just about one up. So I can create a score mark and it's easier for me to fold. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on the opposite side. One right there. There. Okay. So we're going to fold into it. So fold half. And then fold the other side. So basically fold back into it. Okay. So you end up with this. And then now we can go in and cut this shapes or make those cuts. And then we're going to be doing the cuts where the green marks are. So we're going to be cutting in. And now another thing I like to do is go and make those little eighth of an inch cuts first before you start going so you don't forget and uh, get confused if you didn't mark them with a pencil. But you go into that eighth and then down. Cut them off. So cut those little corners. Cut those right there. Again, we went in there about a quarter of an inch. Not a quarter of an inch, I'm sorry, an eighth of an inch. And then you cut that. And you cut this much, and that basically creates your basic shape. You can go in and cut this a little bit if you want, just to give it a more finished look. You don't have to if you don't want to. Nobody's going to see them, nobody's going to know, but let's do it so it makes it look nice and neat. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we are going to fold. So pinch these two together and fold it in. And you're going to do the same on the other side. So you basically fold it in half. When you do that, you are going to then fold this back. Okay, apologize for that. But uh, you are going to... Okay, so once you do this, you are going to then fold back into it. And then flip it over and do the same on the other side. Oops. Just half of it. So you basically end up with this uh, funny looking arrow like shape. And that's the basic shape for your mechanism. Pretty simple. So now another thing I like to do is trim this little, just trim the corner off of it so you can um, get rid of the bulk. Uh, from there, but that is the basic shape, basic mechanism. So now we're going to put it into a card. Um, I, um, hold on a second. So this is a card I had created back uh, for Christmas when I was making Christmas cards, and I ended up not sending it out or giving it to anybody. So it's just been hanging out in my craft room, and we're going to use it um, since I don't have time to create another card right now, but we're going to be using that card too. Uh, show you how the mechanism works. But first we're going to use this other piece of paper that we have cut at seven and a half by two and a half and we're going to do some scoring. So we're going to do at one and seven eighths. We're going to score at three and three quarters. And then we're going to score at Five and five eighths. So one, two, three, four, five eighths. Just about. Okay. So there we have it. And we're going to fold into them. So the first one we're going to fold back. Then we fold forward and then back. So it's basically like a little zigzag. When you do that, you end up with two hills, one valley. And that is our basic shape. Now with this one again, you could also um, round the corners if you want, so just that way you can give it a finished look. Now this one, you are gonna see it, so it, you know if you do give it the, the 
if you round the corners, it does give it a more, more finished look. And it looks much nicer on your card. But you don't have to. You don't have to do it. You could um, cut it with the scissors too if you don't have a uh, corner rounder. But, you know, it gives it a little bit more of a finished look. So now we're going to assemble this together into our card. And we're going to be... So we're going to be using this uh, double-sided tape. And we're going to put it onto our paper. Now, again, I am only going to do this as a test. It's not uh, for me to give it to anybody. So I'm just going to put a couple pieces here. Uh, when you are creating it, you do want to use a lot of um, tape. And um, you want to make sure that it's going to be strong tape that will be able to hold, um, you know, all the opening and closing. So we'll do that for this purpose of this video and I apologize for the um, sh uh, for my shadow but I'm filming this at night and I have to use my light right right above my head so it's a little difficult but yes <laughs> okay so we're gonna remove the backing of the tape on these two sides if I can do that I guess right So once we remove the backing, we are going to open up our card and we're going to line it up. Now, I just like to eyeball it. You don't have to measure it, but just kind of center it and press down. Now, don't press down on this one because that's where your sentiment or your um, scene is going to be. And remove the backing of tape on the other side. like so and now we're going to get our little message so fold it and then hold it towards you so the two bands the two uh valleys i mean the two hills are going to go in so you kind of tuck it in between the mechanism or between the two little legs just kind of eyeball it make it straight and then press it down so you're going to press those two little flaps to hold it like so and now you just close your card and that's about it um you close it and there you have it there's your mechanism now this will take a few times of you opening and closing it um for the mechanism to get used to it and work but um as you can see it makes it easier if you're holding it in work it a few times before you give it out to anybody or send it out but that is your basic mechanism pretty cool um so i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did like it please give it a thumbs up um leave any comments below or questions and i'll be happy to answer them as best as i can or as soon as i possibly can but um you know i do appreciate you watching this remember to go onto my blog so you can see all the measurements and more details if you have questions but uh i do thank you for watching bye happy crafting